Yeah, the police get ready to come up here in a minute. I ain't calling me my business. It ain't my business. Man, y'all got a lot of shit going on here in Baltimore. Like I said, I ain't from Baltimore. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, you ain't seen shit yet. I imagine what you just seen right there, right now. Imagine that would have been a bomb. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they threw some shit. That you, 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 they call that shot rack. This ain't nothing but Palestine right here. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't mind if you be on video? We live. We live. We live, we live in Baltimore. We live in Baltimore in the trenches. You feel me? This straight up on the block. See, I'm an insomniac. I've been on the block since 19... We on the coach strip with it, yo. On the coach strip with it, bro. All right. We talking about the war on drugs, and the war on drugs ain't nothing but a war in the black community. Y'all locked me up like, man, y'all done locked me up for, for turning in guns and drugs to the police. I ain't out, I ain't out here trying to kill motherfuckers. I'm out here trying to save a life. When to save a life, you got to come out here and meet them at where they at. You feel me? Most of these brothers, that's all they got is selling drugs. That's the only, they still only come up that they got because that's all you gave them. America put them guns and them drugs in the streets. And you wonder why they acting wild? Man, because that's all you gave them. That's all we say it again. Say it like you. That's all they got. Young. That's the only way you can eat selling drugs. And we up here at the gas station. Dog, I sold drugs at gas stations. I sold them on the block, on the bike. Man, I ain't never go to jail until I wanted to stop selling drugs. You be you sixteen? You see what I'm saying? At 16 years old, I was out on the block. I was on the block since 1972, and I'm 62 years old. That means I was 12 years old when I started my shit. <laughs> they get ready to be something else. How y'all doing? You say, I'm trying to get some weed. See, it's called parking lot pimping. It's called parking lot pimping. That's where they get their money at. That's a come up. Y'all locked me up in 2007 and in 2011. Because I want to end the war on drugs. Dog, I made a promise. And I'm a man of my word. You kidnapped me. You stole me from my family. That's slave catching. You used the 13th Amendment to do it. Dog, I'm not a criminal. I'm an activist. And if being an activist is a criminal act, then dog, put me at the top of the class. Because don't nobody do it as good as I do. I'm a street journalist. I'm a street artist. I'm a cook. And I feed Baltimore. I don't cook crack. I cook ribs. I changed my product. I ain't changed my hustle. Delegate Stephanie Smith, Nick Mosby, Marilyn Mosby, the Maryland Black Caucus. Our black leadership is selling out the black community. I called you out. And I'm going to prove my point. Today is Monday, July the 5th. It's the day after the 4th of July. And I want my freedom. You go to Steph, uh, you go to State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby's office today, this this morning, at nine o'clock. Knock on the door and ask for my paperwork. My paperwork is a criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. The same way that y'all went against Nafon, y'all got to go after Scott Schellenberger because Scott Schellenberger lied to the grand jury to get an indictment. He used a 1986 case to get an indictment, and that 86 case says that I'm innocent. Scott Schellenberger and Michael Waller both used that case. It's a precedent-setting case, state of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, and it's all about the war on drugs. So in 2011, I did the war on drugs. Instead of guns, I used the toilet. Scott Schellenberger know about it. Scott Schellenberger destroyed evidence. He took a truck, a computer, and 13 years' worth of videos and evidence. Dick Durbin know about it. Kwa'isi and Fumi know about it. Governor O'Malley's mom machine is all about it, because that's what it is. I'm a whistleblower on Governor O'Malley's mom machine. Remember y'all made the stop snitching video? I'm not a snitch. I'm a whistleblower on the prison industry. Now, you're going to have a police report, and y'all going to have a police report about uh, the Carroll gas station on Alicia and Harford Road. Somebody just went in there and threw some uh, firecrackers inside the store. <laughs> I don't condone it, but I ain't going to condemn it. End the war on drugs and you'll stop this violence.
This war on drugs is killing the black community and it's killing black America. And our black leadership won't open their black mouth. You hear me though? State's Attorney Mosby, Johnny Oleski, Chief Hyatt, Commissioner Harrison. If y'all don't press them charges and press up on Scott Schellenberger, we go to the Supreme Court. I am Dred Scott. A writ of sociority under Article 3 of the Constitution gives me the right. I'm a citizen. And if I'm not a citizen, you're going to deport me. I'm also going to ask to give up my citizenship. Political protests. We're going to end the war on drugs. And we're going to free shorty. 2021, I'll be knocking on your door. You're going to see more toilets. Y'all made me famous for toilets? Yeah, I'm getting ready to shit on Baltimore. The shittiest city in America. Mic check.